Well, hey out there, friends, fans, feds, and frenemies. It's me, Postmodern Cowboy, and I am back with another episode. This is episode, I think, 14 now? 14 of Going Medieval. Um, Going Medieval is a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. It's a lot of fun. It's like RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress and... Aber Wyvern, um, which is the seed we're playing on, is so named for the fictional community of Aber Wyvern, um, which is featured in David Macaulay's Castle. Castle is a 1980s kids book. It's an illustrated architecture book that tells the story of the construction of a castle in the Welsh countryside. Um, and uh, Castle by David Macaulay is also the name of a, a 1983 PBS miniseries. Um, no, rather, not miniseries. Um, made for TV movie. It's animated. It's pretty good. Again, um, if you uh, if you like history, architecture, building, discussions, castles in general, um, check it out. But yeah, uh, so we left off. We just finished our armory, um, and we just uh, we just upped the difficulty. That was that was the big uh, last time I played. It was it was a big issue um, discovering that I wasn't playing on the on the hardest difficulty, and and that in fact the hardest difficulty is. Too too hard, too hard. I thought I was playing on the hardest difficulty. Um, that's my bad. Uh, I thought I was doing a lot of things that I wasn't, like building on low ground. <laughs> you know, um, we're actually at the highest point in the map, which is why my roof is like that. It's fine. Um, it'll all it'll all come out in the wash once we finish mining all this ground out. I'm gonna speed time back up. Right now we're in a haul session. Everybody's just bringing in the bringing in the material. Uh, we have a, a lot of hay sitting out here for no apparent reason. Yeah, they're going to pick that up and bring it to the... I wonder why curdling milk sometimes turns to cheese and sometimes rots. I haven't quite figured that one out. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of hay. We got a metrical fuck ton of limestone. Should probably actually have my limestone crafters start crafting. That's going to be Miss and Peter. Well, yeah, I need them to, to turn the limestone into blocks. And we can expand this storage area now. This is all going to get... this. These storage areas are the next... Uh, next frontier, if you will. But I need, to, I need to get all this stuff mined out first before we mess around inside the keep. We're going to, we're going to do this level by level. Um, I think it makes the most sense. It's been, uh, it's been a little while since I thought about the problem I'm facing here. It's not, it's not really a problem. Like, we're, we're getting it done. It, it, it will all work out in the end. I need to now expand, uh, these corner towers as well. Okay, now let's check. So I can uh, start destroying these wall sections here. I'll leave one, like so. And we'll delete those. But yeah, if I, if I get these corner rooms up, that'll make a big difference. I should also, just for aesthetic reasons, I might as well complete the uh, the roof here. I think we'll go with a, yeah, like that. Or should I go with the, ah, that might make more sense on a castle roof using the complete slope. So 
What's the temperature in this room? It's 25 degrees inside. That's perfect. Cozy, even with the windows, which is good. What are we doing there? We've got... Oh, right. I'm missing all my doors. That's not good. So, unfortunately, the whole mining situation... I gotta cancel. We'll get back to that in the, the coming days, but for the moment, we need to excavate this entire section of material. Yeah, if I don't do that. Okay, who's the mining whiz, Hankin? Okay, we'll have Andrew and let's get these guys back on animal husbandry. Oops, that's not who's supposed to be. That's Kevin and Mark. Oh, uh, Joanna has animal husbandry too. She's not good at it, but she has it. She is a builder, so we'll get her on building. I don't know why she still has a bow. Did I not assign her to not carry a weapon? I did, but she didn't drop it for whatever reason. Okay. Yeah, so this... This will be good here. Uh, I definitely need to create, like, a wood pile. I'm starting to get really frustrated with the wood situation. I thought that this interior... Um... See, they're supposed to be putting wood on it, but but they haven't. Okay, and I can expand this stockpile now that the uh, weapon racks are gone. I'm taking all the uh, relevant weapons off. Just to be clear, yeah, this is... I'm not putting fermenting ingredients on these piles here. Nor should I be putting trophies or structures? This, these are just, those are just material overflow. Let's send Catherine to barter. I kind of need to do some research, I guess. Uh, this guy's got research tables. He's got a blacksmith's forge, but I can't afford that. I need any gold bars to buy. Cartography table would be cool to buy, so I don't. Ha I don't even have that skill. But unfortunately, I don't have the necessary resources to trade with him. I, I think uh, building wealth is going to be the next uh, part of. We we definitely you know we definitely need wealth. There's no question of how useful it is to have. Okay, now who's my smith? It's Mark or... Andrew's the, the best smith, okay? That makes sense. So I'll put him in construction two, smithing one. Yeah, let's get those furnaces burning. Who's suffering from cold? Everybody's wearing winter clothes. No one should be. 
starting to have trouble managing what they are wearing though. Okay, so we've got another bedroom that's been built, and in this case, we're going to carve out that many, oops, there we go, that many rooms, or that, that, <laughs> that much space, boy. Do I have space in the basement yet? I did make some, yeah, okay. So we're going to put, uh, put the stove temporarily down there and slowly start shifting stuff around the kitchen. Okay. That should be good. What just happened? Oh, she's just busting. That's fine. Gave me a heart attack for a second. I thought I made like a big collapse happen, but just a little collapse. Just a little collapse. I definitely lost some shelves here. Can I move that one into that corner? I can. This will all get rearranged again. Nothing's in its permanent spot. Once this is cleared, I'm probably going to move the bench over there and put the cooking bench there. This room's almost completely cleared out. I think put this top floor for a second. Don't need a butcher table up there. Oh, that's why things are decomposing. These this room is well, it was warm. Now it's frozen. really need them to move that. Who's starving, really? He's not actually starving. He just hasn't gotten to eat. And that's fine. And Kevin's suffering from cold because he's wearing plate armor. That makes sense. If 
three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight suits armor in the community too. That's pretty great. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that doesn't need to be there, and I can place the quality bed there, the stone brazier there, I guess that one doesn't need to be there either, right? That's a bit tough, this is a bit tougher. Why is that like that? I guess neither of these need to be there. And neither does that. And neither does that. But in fact, that... Yeah, okay, okay. Now this makes sense. Uh, let's keep that where it is. What's supposed to be on these row crossbows, right? Don't have those yet, but we will, but we will. Okay, make sure I also trash those because they're just actually getting my way visually. Okay, delete that. This is such an ass backwards way to build a castle. Normally, build the foundation up. In this case, I built from like the middle of the wall up, and then we're gonna build down to the foundation. Like, uh, that was my bad. That was really my bad. But it's all gonna work out. It's all gonna work out. Okay, we got lots of iron now. That's good. Let's demolish that shelf, and we'll demolish that shelf. We don't need those up here at all. Okay, so if I move all the non-food bearing, so I need I need a cold storage. That that's the like the kitchen is one thing, but the cold storage is another. And right now, it probably would just be easier to build new shelves than have them. Whatever, whatever, we'll make it work. This room can be warm, right? Like it seeds don't decompose. I don't think. Uh, by temperature? No, I don't think so. And food definitely does. Let's 
the wrong type of bed. Okay, and good. Yeah, there's a separation. I was worried there'd be like it, it would interlock perfectly, but there's a separation between my turrets and the the tower edge, which is as it should be. It's a little crowded, but actually looks kind of good. And I'm I wish I'd should thought a little bit more in advance, but it is what it is. Hmm, community members are unhappy. Why Why are they? I don't want them to leave on me. I guess the difficulty has made them less happy. But why are they actually unhappy? Desperately thirsty and chilly. Osgar. Oh, I can't select for some reason? Yeah, there we go. Moderately tired. Ate raw food. Why did Osgar eat raw food? None of this makes sense. Because we have no cooked food. Oh, we have... Oh, they're starving. Everyone is... Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, I thought I had cooks, but I guess it's been a long time. Alfred is a cook, isn't he? He's a good cook. Okay. Come on, Andrew. Just do the thing I fucking told you to do. It's not... I'm just gonna ruin the community. This little starvation incident here. Everybody was happy. Totally lost track of our. All right, build that damn table. Hankins rebellious now. Yeah, this is not ideal. If we get attacked right now, it's that's GG. I don't think we've even laid the doors out. No, we've. Oh boy. Oh shit. Okay, so this is actually a crisis. What? Why? Why? What? You need to clear the area first. Clear the fucking what? Oh, you. Uh, okay. Yep. Um. I'm starting to run into people who can do things. No stockpiles. To, okay. What you're seeing here is, uh, like, colony collapse disorder level fucking event. Uh, I am extremely frustrated with this. Okay, let's just allow all food. Catherine didn't cook shit. I'm like, they're gonna start to die. Catherine, 
pull an all-nighter, go cook. What does she have to go get? Wood, apparently. Okay. Because no one's hauled wood up. Okay. Now, Catherine. Just move that damn meat. Okay. I have no idea. Need to clear area for fucking god damn man. The butcher table is in the way of the butcher. I would I I just I just wanna start saying mean things. Okay. 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 Got our kitchen back. We can use literally every ingredient now. We have so much barley. We're not going to run out. Uh, I don't want to do it until it's until I have, let's say, 50. And then we're going to have Catherine go do that right away. Apparently Joanna's going to do it right away, but she's not. She's already working on it, but says she's repairing. Joanna's not a cook. And Alfred's a cook, and Catherine's, a co Catherine's having a little freak out. So let's send Alfred to do it. Um, this is really quite frustrating. I, as soon as I got the difficulty, things got more complicated. Probably should have done this to start. Okay. Good work, Alfie. Now let's make sure we're butchering as well. Uh, we'll butcher forever, because... Okay. Now we've got some food. No one should be starving. Joanna's starving because she's still drafted. Look at that. Okay. Crisis mostly averted. Uh, we definitely need to get those doors built, though. That's who's the constructor. Andrew needs to go build so he can come off smithing. We have, yeah, loads of iron now. And Hank can, uh, can get off mining. He can go into constructing. Yeah. All right. And who are the animal people are still working? Perfect, perfect. Yeah, all right. Everything's everything's going. Everything's going again. That was a very near crisis. Well, was it? That was a crisis. That was legit a problem. Okay, I need to expand this back through now. Because this is not going to stay a permanent kitchen. This is all just going to be the storage down here.
Unless they're going to build all the roof parts before they... Still a lot of wood laying out there. Okay, merchant caravans better than a bandit raid for sure. That said, I really do need to prioritize these doors. Um, and we'll have Hank and work the other one. Yeah, this is super silly. Super silly. Things blocking construction. Like, if you give them the order to construct the thing and the thing is blocking the thing, then they should move the thing. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. So you really just wind up needing, like, a garbage gear. Garbage gear pile. Okay. Okay, and it'll be low priority so that these things on the top floor are hopefully of a yeah, very high priority. These should be very high. I have to manually change them all. And finish building that one. Okay. What's that merchant caravan selling? I'm selling interesting stuff. Good mix of, oh, he's got, he's got, he's got an ass. Well, I'll buy, I'll buy some, I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy the ass. Um, let's take his food, why not? Don't need the Chronicles, clay bricks. Oh, he's got a crown. It's a bone crown, yeah. Wait to get a gold crown. Got some herbs. He's got some ice blocks, which there's no reason not to buy them. So, excepting, of course, that they take up space, but don't need his limestone blocks. He has silver ingots. See, that's... Okay. So, I need to give him 600 worth of stuff. I probably have... Oh, we're running low on hay again. Look at that. I have so many damn goats, I haven't called the goats and the sheeps in a while. I have lots of pretty valuable clothing. Way too much summer clothing. Okay, four, let's get rid of the flimsy stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We might need to start cooking uh, animal feed. You see how much food I have, like no food.
Okay, what was I doing? I feel like it hinged in this room. And the doors are hinged on the doors. I need to move this crap out of the way. Okay. Definitely don't need a second door. Okay, bad Sandrews. We're just going to throw away all these caps. Just super. And that great helm, apparently, we're at a. I feel like maybe. Maybe it's getting on to the time to start appointing some racks as uh, no male helmets and uh, no male armor. Okay. That that particular feature makes me want to scream every time it happens. You waste the energy to put your mouse over some object and then you click on it and there's some object sitting on the ground that just, they can't, I can't build anything here. There's something already here. Like, move it. Fucking like, come on, you make me like remove the outline so that you can just tedious. Nope. Nope. 
Here we go. What do I have the most of leather wise? Definitely boar and then should have wool, right? Still. Yeah, lots of wool. Okay, so we, we do everything at a wall. Okay, how's the food situation? It's improving. The bed done yet? That upper room? No. What's it need? Just some hay. Oh, she's working on it right now. Okay, let's call that Hankins room. Okay, so we've got four community members of ten. Um, permanently housed, two, six. I need four more beds in places. Each tower over here can house two. And technically I can just put them in here for now. At least gets them out of the basement. Perfect. Well, not really perfect at all. It's, it's quite, quite in, imperfect, in fact. <clears throat>
That's Kevin unconscious. You just tired? Losing consciousness, deprived of entertainment. Is he stuck somewhere? No. Yes? No. He was praying. He passed it. Hmm. Okay. I feel like he just needs to just needs to sleep it off. Peter turned 45, and he's uh, he likes winter. He's chilly. It's a good thing. Okay. That'll look great. Finished a spare room down there. I guess that's the stairwell, yeah. Cool. Cold snaps quite late in the season. At least all the fires are going and everybody's got their winters on, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, no, we're we're good. Should probably Toss his freezing ass armor. Okay, who's idle? No one's idle. Oh, Joanna is idle. What's her specialization again? Um, there are things to build, so I don't understand why. Oh, she must be stuck. Where is she stuck? She's stuck in a hole. Hmm. It's the second time someone's been stuck in this hole, I think. Maybe it should be a door. Temporarily, at least, until we get all that cleared out. Yeah. Now, my crafters weren't crafting this whole time. They were... How are we doing on food? Have we made a lot of food yet? We really haven't. I need someone to do research now. Okay, how's this look in the uh, 
screenshot view. That's pretty. That's pretty damn good. I'm. I'm quite. I'm quite happy with the way this is turning out as it as it comes together. It's a little jankier um, a build than I had hoped, but. I'm going to turn all of this stone into So winter as it turns out is not the season for mining your outdoor areas wait until summer Is someone stuck now? No, Hank, you can't possibly be stuck. Oh my god, I'm done. That needs a door is what that needs. It's a damn door. I'll put another door. Oops. No, I'll put another door there. Don't need a surface door. And we'll do some of this light cosmetic stuff. Okay, winter day 11, cold snap's over. We're getting toward being able to, uh, to plant. One more day. Okay, let's relocate these things. Workbenches, right? To the top floor here. Yep, yeah, that fits pretty good. And I can put the other one, whatever it is, the tailoring bench. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, it's actually pretty far from the, the cloth storage, I guess. Um, but it's close to the clothing storage. Really, we shouldn't have to make too much more stuff, so that's an adequate use of those rooms. I can... even put... Uh, it's going to be under decorations, and... even put a couple tool shelves... against the wall behind. And that should make these both little workshops.
And then I truly can start working on this, this floor. I kind of like it built onto the stone like that. It, it adds an impenetrable layer, like a trebuchet can destroy the, the brickwork, but it can't destroy the stonework, and that's going to have an interesting effect. I guess they'll be adding uh, fireplaces very likely too with the the next update, the temperature update. They haven't said anything, but they, they you know we don't we don't have fireplaces currently. Nothing increases the interior temperature except for these braziers. Not really fireplaces. Research available. All right, let's keep them going on that. You need to heat this room though. Just gonna put a couple iron braziers in the corners. Oh, yeah. You guys are nice and cozy in their nice warm rooms. This room's a little draftier because it's bigger. Uh, so we have four empty beds and... Theoretically, if I delete these... Yep, we got enough bits. That's fantastic. Okay. Now I can delete these iron braziers that just. I can delete these oh. stone braziers. Okay. Let me go up to our top floor. Let's 
Huh, that's interesting. I made the entire space a workshop. It's not quite what I wanted to do. It's considered a luxurious workshop. Well, then, I guess that means we're deleting these doors. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, nope, can't place anything there because the shields, it's fine. We got a uh, merchant here. Seems to be a warfare merchant, if I had to guess. I still don't have anything to sell them. He's selling uh, some equipment, some benches. I don't need benches. But this uh, this this settlement is definitely coming together now. We're really we're making the most of it here. I'm managing to turn a lot of that spare limestone into bricks, which we need, which we desperately need. I'm gonna keep building. And, uh, three more towers to do, plus like the whole outer curtain, which is gonna be its own, its own special ordeal. But yeah, that is in fact all for me for now. Um, this has been Postman and Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you don't like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, let me like, subscribe to my channel, you know, all those things. Tell your friends. And uh, yeah, keep it peaceful out there. <laughs>